Hello, welcome to the Gourmet Cooking Channel. I am Chef Blaze, and here today we will be making banana bread. Okay, so the first thing we do, our oven is preheated at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually cut open the, there's a tear here, so we're going to Okay, we're back, and we, we, well, we have had a slight change just because we're going to actually be supposed to add our ingredients first, so we're going to add two eggs, we've got two nice fresh brown eggs, we're going to crack it open, open it up, let it go in there, Let's put our egg aside, open it up. It says to add, we're going to add our water. And our veggie oil. Okay, so we're going to add one cup of water and one fourth cup of veggie oil and two eggs. And what we're going to do now is that we're going to put the mix in the bowl. Nice and even. Now I was thinking of speeding it up a little. What I wanted to do here is I wanted to put the mixer out. Um, yeah. Um, so you know what? I'm gonna move this a little bit, but just enough so that nothing goes everywhere. We're only gonna turn it on a certain speed because we do not want to ruin the mix. So.
bowl in case you want to drip in. We'll be back after these messages. Okay, so we just finished mixing our batter, so what we're going to do is put it over here. We're going to eject our beaters by pushing the button. It's, it's all mixed, and this is why we have a small spoon to get the edges because you don't want to make a splattering mess with the mixer. But you okay. only need it on one. Looks good. Okay, so, what we're going to do pan. is that we're going to take our pan, it's greased with Crisco, it's recommended, and then what we're going to take is we're going like to this. Like that, and we're going to pour it all in the pan. Make sure all the batter gets inside of it. Okay, hold on. So what you want to do is that you want to scoop out all of that extra batter because it will thicken, and then you want it to pour right in. You want to make sure you get all the batter out. So make sure it's all in there. Okay, so our oven's been preheated. So what we're going to do we're going to take our batter, it should look like this, we're going to open the oven, bottom rack, and we're going to slide it on the very, very bottom rack, about at the fifth slot, and we're going to shut it, and how long does it stay to cook? Oh, it's, it will cook for an hour, really? 60 minutes, yeah. Okay, 60 minutes then. Just let that set itself. And now it is ready. We'll be back after these messages. Okay, we have stopped our timer on the oven at 10 minutes because I believe that a banana bread is done. So what we're going to do is that before we get them out, turn off the oven. Nice pot holder. Pull it out. I'm going to put it down on that towel there and just let it cool down. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, when it cools down, we'll show you the finished product. Yes. Okay. Here we are, taking our banana butt out. We have our wire rack. Yes. We, we, got, we just cut through the edges and the sides, like just like that. Make sure it comes out, make sure you cut around, even though there's grease. There's no grease. That's but it. see how it's on the wire rack, and here is your finished product. It should just look just like this. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Where's the